Hello. Crappy quality because I'm too lazy to take out my camera. And what do I talk about? There's a doggy sleeping on my bed. Isn't that right, doggy? Yes. Alrighty, so I'm currently kind of on and off reading this amazing book. Look at its amazingness as I stroke Esther's face really creepily. Hello, Esther. It's got some like journal slash diary excerpts and some pretty awesome pictures of her cray cray hair, which is cool. It's a good book. If you don't know what it's about, um, it's a girl named Esther Earl. Her face graces the cover of the cover. Oops. Language fail. Um, she was 12 years old, was diagnosed with thyroid cancer, which had already spread to her lungs by the time, and it's not common in kids, so they didn't know what to do with it, and they were treating it, but it was pretty much treating it to make it not get worse. They never thought that it would get better, and a few years after she was diagnosed when she was 16, uh, she lost her battle. But she still wrote some awesome things and did some awesome things and raised money for all sorts of different causes. She was a nerd fighter, so she did a lot of fundraising through that and through the Harry Potter Alliance, I think. Yeah, yeah, she did cool stuff. She did awesome things. And even in her death, she's doing awesome things still, because those who remember her are doing awesome things, sort of, in her name and stuff, continuing out things that she started. She kind of-ish helped inspire or helped inspire part of John Green's novel The Fault in Our Stars, which is becoming a movie really soon, and that's awesome, because I read that book and I cried so much. So many tears! So many tears! Reading this book, just her normal journals and everything, tears, just because so many feelings. And then I laugh because she writes some really funny, crazy things, and I relate in ways. And then, then she had to die, <laughs> and it sucks so much. So many tears. <sighs> like I just watched, uh, she did vlogs too, in her very last vlog. No hint at anything coming, just like totally normal teenager view my room sort of tour thingy and it was funny and oh, she a, was a big Harry Potter fan. What? Love the HP. Anyway, I'm weird. I'm so weird. Rawr. Oh, wait, even in this, I'm so bad at this. This corner here, this is a pile of John Green books, amongst which this blue one that I'm tickling right now, it is the fault in our stars. And my room is made of stars! What? Sorry. <laughs> I'm so spazzy. Uh, okay. So, why am I talking about that anyhow? Uh, my very last video, which was my first video in like half a year, sorry, I'm very inconsistent, um, was about how I'm going to be shaving my head next month. Next month, today is the 23rd, I'm shaving my head on the 27th next month. I am almost at my goal, but uh, I don't know, I've had some people call me crazy for doing this or say I could never do this sort of stuff, and I get them, and I've said things like that before, but at the same time, the four years that I was going to uh, my school, which is where I will be going to shave my head, uh, I had wanted to do it and I thought about it but then at the last second I'd chicken out or I'd be like no I want to you know let my hair grow longer that way I can donate a fair amount and then I would get frustrated with having long hair and cut it off and then I'd say the same thing over again and I would just have a big cycle until finally I said you know what now that I graduated and I live far away from the school how about let's go back and shave my head this year yeah I'm so good at timing and things. Again, how does this relate to this? Well, you know, Hazel suffering from cancer and uh, Esther unfortunately losing her battle with cancer and crap like that needs to not happen as often as it does. So I'm not saying that St. Baldrick's will try and is going like the research through the money that St. Baldrick's raises that 
any of that is going to necessarily find a cure, but they can sure as hell do a better job with the actual treatments, like improve on the stuff that we have and find new and better treatments that are less harsh on the body. The treatments are almost more harsh than the cancer, and then they start feeling absolutely horrible, and it's like the treatments are killing them. And in some cases, they really do, because maybe they'll go into remission afterwards, and then years later the cancer might come back, or some other sort of disease takes over. There are certain treatments that cause heart problems, and like brain development delays, and children, because they're being treated at such a young age with these harsh chemicals and radiation, it's just, it's causing more problems. So if we could find treatments that cause fewer problems in and of themselves and focus rather on treating the main problem, cancer, that is what I hope for. I hope for treatments that are more effective, that don't cause as many long-term effects and cause less pain for those going through it right now. And it's just sad. Like a woman who got osteosarcoma, I believe, and that's usually in teens and kids. So they sent her to a pediatric hospital, obviously, because they're the experts in that. But like, uh, these kids, they have to face death and think about death. And she was saying that one of the kids she overheard, they were talking about what their wish would be for the Make-A-Wish Foundation. One kid said his great idea and what he was going to do, and he asked the other kid, you know, you haven't made yours yet, what are you going to do? He's like, well, my wish can't be made true. And they all were reassuring him, you know, they can do a lot in that organization. I'm sure they could figure something out. But what he said was that he just wanted to be normal. He wanted to be able to run around and play with the other kids, go to school, play sports, and do all these things. But he would just never be able to do that. That shouldn't have to be a kid's wish to be normal. Most kids wish, I want to be a princess, I want to be a pop star, like, I want to do this and this and this and fly to the moon. For a kid to say his biggest wish is just to be normal, that, like, ooh, that hurts. Why should that have to be, why should kids have to wish and think about that stuff? They shouldn't. They should be able to be happy. And that's why I feel like if you didn't have treatments that caused almost as much pain as the cancer, I'm not saying that they can just run around like crazy like the other kids, but they would sure as hell have a lot more freedom, and maybe they wouldn't feel so crabby and tired all the time, and just, it would be better that way. So, for those of you questioning why this crazy person is going to do something so wacky, especially for women, like I've also been told it's unfeminine, you know, women don't shave their heads, what are you gonna look like, you won't be pretty anymore, you know what, no, bald is beautiful, that is one of St. Baldrick's little sayings, hashtag, hashtag, bald is beautiful, and so yeah, that is why I'm doing these things, for Esther, and for fictional characters like Hazel and the people that inspired them, that is why I'm doing this, so, Goodbye.